What's up guys, it's Radio. welcome to the channel. Today we are talking about farming blue armor and blue backpacks, blue gear in general. In my opinion, blue gear is the staple point in the middle ground of gear at the moment, especially the armor. Purple and exotics cost so much for so much little more armor that it's really not worth it to be going for them. And it is blue armor as it is now is much better than green armor due to diminishing returns in the game. So let's get right into why you should be farming for blue armor and how to do it. If you did not know, there are diminishing returns in this game from different armors. As you can see, green starts at 17 and blue jumps all the way up to 23, having a 6 point value difference. And from blue to purple, it only goes up 3, up to 26, which is diminishing returns. So running green to blue is a huge jump, and that's what you need to be running right now. Purple to exotic is only up 2 points. This is why the jump from green to blue is so important, and why you need to be out there running blue armor and not green is going to save you a lot. So let's get right into it. So starting right off with the blue helmet, you need two aluminum scrap and two rattler skins. I'm going to show you exactly how to get the aluminum scrap. There are two good locations on Bright Sands to get aluminum scrap. And the first one is base camp. You can find it here in multiple locations around base camp, but it is not the best location. The actual best location on the map to find aluminum scrap is at comms tower here. You want to go to comms tower to find aluminum scrap if that's the only thing you're looking for. You can go to base camp as well, but if you're actually trying to find more, your better chance is here at comms tower. And you can see it spawns there in the middle. After that, you want to go into the landing pad. The aluminum scrap can spawn all over this landing pad here. And then after that, you want to check inside these cargo containers. There's four of them in total, and each, all four of them can spawn the aluminum scrap. If you happen to have the server access key, aluminum scrap and spawn in lockers. So don't forget to check those for lockers and any lockers around the map. So getting into the second ingredient for blue helmets, it is two rattler skins. Super simple to get. If you know how to get them, go get them. Easy. If you for some reason don't know what a rattler is, it's these ugly motherfuckers right here that have a spitting problem. Ow. Um, just kill these bitches. They have about a 100% spawn rate of the rattler skins. Very easy. Just murder them a bunch and... Go on with your life, cool? Getting straight into the blue armor piece now, its materials are fairly simple to get as well. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it. You need two CPUs, two Cloudy Vault of Sight, and five Rattler skins. So for the CPUs, you can find them inside Waterfall Labs, inside these white cabinets, as well as luggage around comms base and base camp, as well as these loose spawns all around Crash Ship and inside the Crash Ship and all along the Crash Ship trail. I find them all the time. I'm sure you've stumbled across these plenty of times. You'll get these. Don't even stress it. As for the Veltasite, it's one of the easiest things to get as well as the Rattler skins. You just get your Veltasite veins that are spread out across all the Bright Sands. If you don't know good locations for these, Waterfall is a great one. But if you need an actual video on that, I have a video that I will link in the description or even on the screen now that you can go to and it shows the best Veltasite spawns there is. Just as you're mining them, grab as much of the Cloudy Vulture side as you can. It's super simple, super easy. Don't even worry about it. You can get these very easily. And finally, for the large backpack, the blue backpack, you're going to need two textiles, one pale ivy blossom, and three altered nickel. Getting started with textiles, you can find them all around the map inside lockers. But my absolute favorite place and the best place that I find them all the time is, of course, at jungle camp jungle camp has some of the best spawns for everything you can find them at loose spawns as you see all there you can find them inside that place as well as inside the lockers there are three lockers total inside jungle camp they can spawn but there are multiple multiple loose spawns all on the ground that you can find these textiles at if you need textiles go to jungle camp you will get them without a doubt as for pell ivy blossom it's super simple to get once you figure out the spawns literally all throughout jungle the entirety of jungle these things spawn all in this green grass this green leaves that you see they will spawn all on these trees that you see randomly throughout all of jungle so if you're doing a jungle run or just running through jungle just keep an eye out for these pale ivy blossoms they will be everywhere but if you need a specific location to find these at then of course i'm going to tell you jungle camp it can spawn on the buildings all along these leaves i usually find two to three here when i come here for my runs I just pick them up because they're literally one pound. They're not heavy at all. As you can see here, they're on this tree as well. Just be checking these green leaves when you're in the jungle. They can spawn in multiple locations more than anything else. And for the final and easiest ingredient of the blue backpack, it is altered nickel. I'm sure you know how to get this. If you didn't know though, you can now print it. It's a brand new print for five nickel. So when you're hitting your nickel ore, be sure to pick up the actual normal nickel as well as the altered nickel as you can craft it now. 
that's going to conclude my farming blue gear video. I really do hope this video helped you out. If it did, please smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm very close to 100 subscribers. And I really hope to be hitting that today. If I do, that would be amazing. Thank you, thank you. If you do subscribe, I appreciate it more than you could ever fucking know. And I hope I'm helping you more than I know. Anyway, take it easy. And I hope you all have a good one. Peace out.